people did speak. Uh, he may, we may also be seeing that sentiment in some recent polls for Colorado's Democrat governor, John Hickenlooper, facing falling approval ratings following his support for strict gun control laws in that state. Could he be the next one to pay a political price? It was very close. I mean, John Morse lost by 343 votes. Uh, and we know that this was a, you know, obviously a very hot topic. It got a lot of input from on both sides from uh, national uh, folks who got involved in this. And Bloomberg, obviously, $350,000 of his own money, probably a drop in the bucket uh, for, for Mayor Bloomberg. But, um, but, you know, he, he did lose this. And now, as, as I mentioned in the intro, there are questions about the governor. Is he in jeopardy? Well, he will be if he goes the same route as these two. Uh, as I understand it from listeners in Colorado who called me and, and were following, Following this closely, one of the big problems was not necessarily just the, the legislation they supported. They weren't open to listening to the mm. people. They were not. They wouldn't have meetings. They wouldn't. They had a cl kind of a closed door policy. Uh, the governor better better heed that warning and, and at least hear the other side and understand that there are millions of Coloradans and Americans who want to preserve their Second Amendment rights.